Oh, Capricorn. This is your weekly message. So, Capricorn. Capricorn. From what I heard, somebody's body, you got them calling your body. Or your body is calling their body. I don't know. But they say, here they come to save you. And they've been longing to touch you, baby. They want to touch you. Touch you. From what I had heard. Now, you came around my way. And you ain't going to regret what I'm going to do to you. And you ain't going to forget, no time soon, what I'm going to do to you. Because your body is calling me. And it's unbelievable. Shh. I can just hear it calling, call. Ooh, child. Let's grow. They say they want to show you how good they can make you feel. They want to forever hold that body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get your bracelets. Mm -hmm. Go to my Etsy and get your bracelets. Calling. Somebody could be defensive. Somebody's defensive. Somebody is being stubborn. Somebody is not saying nothing. Somebody is silent. I'm listening. I hear your body calling me. Somebody's a sage, and somebody's definitely an earth sign. This just came out with Libra reading. So be careful of pregnancy. Something's gonna happen in one of the times. Somebody could be. Um, this is the one of the times, so it's current energy. Somebody's third eye chakra could be opening up. Somebody's taking note of you. Um, somebody's definitely an earth sign. Somebody. Uh, sacral chakra or solar plexus needs to be um, aligned and worked on. I recommend getting you a um, seven chakra bracelet even if you don't get it from me. I recommend you getting that to align your chakras. Let's see what you got. This is somebody that you put an end into this situation. There's an ending, but we know endings for new beginnings. And somebody's on their way to you. Somebody is sneaky. Somebody's holding on to you, whether you know this or not. Because they run to transform this relationship. This is going to come as a shocker to you. That they want this ten of pentacles with you. They want to build with you. They want to grow with you. There's gonna be somebody's that's my chill. Somebody's a Sagittarius, somebody's Aquarius. Something significant about Luther Vandross. Riding riding my whip, listening to my shit. See, be careful of pregnancy. Be careful of pregnancy. Baby girl said I got the title. Somebody wants to transform. This relationship, they've been sad without you, slow to commit, slow to come towards you. 
but this is someone that wants um something secure with you something solid with you something that's stable could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius somebody see you is confident this is someone that um got tattoos on their chest somebody might be having some shower sex there's an ending to a cycle but we know endings bring new beginnings they say they want to spread both cheeks and they want um this reconciliation with you they want to look in your eyes i'm here look me in my face i ain't got no words because i ain't got no words baby i said a leo so somebody backstab a leo and betrayed a leo and now they want to rekindle things now they want to redo it now they want to refill because they say without you this is someone that keeps you up in your head. This is someone that is a good provider. Or they have the potential to be a good provider. They see you as their equal. This is someone that wants to love. This emperor. This emperor wants to be a provider. This emperor wants to be and give you stability. This emperor has been hurt in the past. So we already know hurt people hurt people. So some people don't do well with hurt. Some people, this person wants you to be their divine counterpart. They see you as their divine counterpart. But this is someone that's scared, at, scared of love because they've been backstabbed and betrayed when it comes to love. But they want this love with you. They want to start this love again. They have uh, emotional awareness of who you are, how they feel about you, how they truly adore you, how they truly love you, how love is long lasting. High Priestess. This is someone that wants, that is following their intuition, or this person wants you to follow your intuition. Four wands is in reverse. So somebody's feeling like this is not gonna work. Somebody feels like this is not gonna work because there's a conflict. This is someone that definitely see you got the king and the queen of pentacles. So as I say, y'all are divine counterparts. Y'all both could be financially stable, y'all both can have y'all own. This is someone that the scales will be balanced and this is justice for you and this person to get back together and balance out the scales. They just want to know, are you ready? Are you ready for this? They want to balance out the scales, as I said. Just know anything worth having is worth work. Wait, no. This is someone that feels like it's, it's a missed opportunity. Excuse me. This is someone that hasn't made a decision yet. This is someone that's on the fence. This is definitely someone from your past. But this is someone that wants you to know that everything is everything. Everything is still happening according to plan. This is someone that you've been patiently planning and waiting for a future. Bottom of the deck, again, Leo. So you are this person of happiness. They got the strength card and Leo at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody that definitely sees you as a happiness. Something could have happened in December. Could be a Sag Capricorn cuss. Something significant about the holidays. Maybe Valentine's Day. Or something could have happened in around Christmas time. Somebody could be an August Leo. Two minutes. In July, heavy on a Leo. And something is gonna be happening by the next full moon. Somebody want to know, are you ready for love? I'm here. Are you ready for love? 
got you a hot boy on your hands. That's under that dog magic. And y'all got Egyptian tiles. Some of Aries, Scorpio, or Cancer. Libra, Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Sag, Capricorn, 11 and 3. So my birthday could be 11 and 3. So my birthday can be 3 11. But this was y'all message. I love you. Y'all. B. E. C.